that's so close to my home. One of those places that you looked at since you were a kid and always kind of dreamed of, of it, you know. It's nice to be back up here. And it's kind of cool because we've been here so long ago, you know. We didn't come for a bunch of years and it's cool, you know, like see the evolution of like where we started. Coming back into the zone, you know, I was thinking about the spot and weather and all that doesn't really cooperate all the time. So cheers. 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 To the What's location. Yeah. The analyst. It's been almost 10 years since the first trip I did in there. I haven't made it back every year, but I've done trips periodically. Skiers like my dad in, in his era, those guys were the first guys to be out there and, and just right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. It does seem so far from the sea to sky. You look up at it and across and it looks close, but it's blocked by the Squamish River. It's a guarded range in that sense. And the, the reason it it is so special is because it's super hard to get to. It, place like the Tantalus that has such a, an old history, living through the storms and could go from being sunny and magical light to all of a sudden a dark storm cloud sticking in the mountain and blowing up the side of it. And it can change like that in a matter of seconds. So that brings a certain beauty and mystique strong connections between the Ravens and us out there skiing. The security that the Ravens give me brings a, a certain comfort, just knowing that they're watching down on us. It's said to be that thorn skiers do pass away in the mountains. They're reincarnated into Ravens. You have a lot of respect for that bird, knowing he's been up there for such a long time. And in a place like the Tantalus, you know that they're there because they want to be there. And seeing them lets me know that my lost mentors are still close to me. Nothing but your ego